Well, Dave will be keeping an eye on Harvey all morning in the weather lab. Meanwhile, Daniel Phillips takes over our team coverage from Lake Charles. Man, Daniel, how's thing? How are things looking in Calcasieu Parish? Tracy, good morning. Good morning, Acadiana. Things starting to look up a little bit here in Lake Charles early this morning where the winds are still whipping around pretty good. They're, they're coming more in the form of gusts now, but the rainfall has been able to hold off. The rain really sticking out towards our west and almost barely even crossing that border. Texas continuing to take a big hit overnight last night. Emergency rescues ongoing through several of those communities uh, over through Port Arthur and Orange, uh, as well as Beaumont, which just continues to see an unprecedented amount of rainfall. The amount of rainfall that Harvey has dropped over the state of Texas these last few days is simply remarkable. Here in Lake Charles, luckily dry this morning. We had some showers last night and some of those squalls were moving through. But here over the last hour or so, it looks like it's settled down and some of the clouds have even started to move out of the way at all. I know the community very grateful to see these things. It was uh, just a night or two ago that they were seeing rescues of themselves as portions of Lake Charles was beginning to flood. Last night, they used the Lake Charles Civic Center as a shelter for some of those families. It was, it was 120 families who ended up being rescued. Again, not this previous night that we're waking up from, but the one before. So again, happy that things are a little bit drier this morning and hopefully that trend will continue. Live in Lake Charles, I'm meteorologist Daniel Phillips for KTC TV3.